9 p.m. in Djibouti is time to English new edition for tonight headlines. Uh, we have Djibouti launches its campaign for the positions of non parliament members of the Security Council. Uh, for international scene, uh, Edward Flip will present uh, the reform project on Wednesday. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, concerning meteorological news, uh, presence of uh, cloudy clusters uh, of the cyclone Pavan residue that uh, could generate uh, intermittent uh, thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening over coastal, coastal areas. Uh, the wind will blow from east to moderate uh, northeast. Uh, visibility will sometimes be good and reduced under rainfall. The seas will be light to temporary route uh, offshore. Uh, the Republic of uh, Djibouti has launched in New York the launches of its official campaign for its election as a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. Uh, indeed, uh, in June two, 2020, the 74 sessions of the United Nations General Assembly will have to elect five of the ten non-permanent members of the Security Council for the period 2021-2022. Uh, One of the, these five seats is uh, statutorily allocated to Africa and according to the traditions of regional uh, rotations adopted by the African Union, it is East Africa turn to apply. The Republic of Djibouti announced its uh, intentions, determination and the quality of its candidacy at the end of the 2016 since uh, its independence the country has been resolutely involved in the essential issue of conflict resolutions and peace building located in the heart of the Horn of Africa, a complex and strategic region Djibouti has been able to implement a policy of uh, openness and uh, Broad international cooperation as evidenced uh, by the number of the major uh, friendly powers uh, that have economic or military infrastructure on its territory. The Republic of Djibouti is also actively, actively engaged in the fight against terrorism in securing maritime trade in the strategic Pabal Mende Strait. Uh, Djibouti has also been resol resolutely involved in the fight against piracy for the Uh, the protection is of refugees by hosting a number of support uh, structures on its territory. In addition to its uh, participation in numerous UN flagged peacekeeping missions, uh, the country has been deeply involved since uh, the early 1990s in the dialogue and peace process uh, in Somalia with the deployment of uh, troops uh, through AMISOM, African Union missions in Somalia. For his part, uh, uh, General Abdel Nasser Awale, commander of the UN police deployed in Mali, explain us uh, more in this report. From 1993 to 2019, the Republic of Djibouti participated in 99 peacekeeping missions with currently presence in AMISOM, UNAMI, UNMIS, MINUSCA, and of course MINUSCO. The rigorous selection of the troops applied by Djibouti authorities after a first and pre-deployment training in line with the new threats sufficiently demonstrate the personalism of the sense on duty showed by the officers deployed in different missions. As an, an illustration, the winner of the 2019 award, the SG Secretariat, UN Secretary General, as the best actor who helped to advance the United Nations was guaranteed to my person. On last 21st November 2019, for driving positive change with entire UN system. Say, It's a place to organize and salute the four hours on His Excellencies, the President of Djibouti, Ismail Margele, 
who early anticipate the need to promote the sub-region and international peace by investing personally in this quest. The ambassador of uh, Djibouti to New York, Mohamed Ziad Douali, has indicated Djibouti will accomplish its missions. Listen to this uh, report. Believes that it deserves to serve as a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council for a variety of reasons, which will be detailed in His Excellency's address to be delivered later. At this stage, let me just point out a few. Djibouti is a reliable partner and has worked in tandem with UN member states, large and small, permanent and non-permanent members of the Security Council on ways to advance our common priorities. Djibouti is by far the first member with the highest proportion of its national population deployed as peacekeepers. Owing to, it, to its geostrategic position with regards to the Red Sea, Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean, the Gulf of Aden, and its trade-friendly location, Djibouti has become a, a hub for the fight against terrorism, maritime, piracy, and other transnational threats. It also has served as a hub for global shipping with positive consequences on economic growth and regional stability. The last time Djibouti served in the Security Council was in 1993, more than 25 years ago. You would agree with me that 25 years ago is a long time, a long time. Djibouti has never shown uncontrolled appetite. It has patiently waited its turn. Djibouti has declared its intention to serve in October 2016. Many of you would recall my meetings with you in an effort to get your country's support. I wish to extend my profound gratitude to those who have expressed and conditional support to Djibouti on day one. My gratitude goes to all the sizable number of countries that have accepted the proposed arrangement of reciprocal support. We also are grateful, immensely grateful, to the Arab League, the OIC, and the Francophonie for their endorsement. For those who have signaled support but are in the process of reviewing candidatures, before making the final decisions, we are saying, please consider Djibouti. The Minister of Foreign Affairs for International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, has indicated that, that Djibouti has a huge opportunity to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Listen to the head of the diplomacy. In the Horn of Africa, as a stable country, a peace-loving nation, and a valuable contributor to the security of the Horn of Africa. For decades, Djibouti, a strategically located country on the Strait of Bab el Mandeb, opened its borders and territory to air, land, and naval forces from Europe, Asia, and America in order to fight terrorism, piracy, and human trafficking. For decades also, Djibouti has given asylum and shelter to hundreds of thousands of refugees and asylum seekers from war-torn neighboring countries. For decades again, Djibouti immensely contributed to the UN and African Union peacekeeping forces, not only in Africa, but throughout the world. In 1993-94, Djibouti was a non-permanent member in the Security Council, and the UN archives testify abundantly about the constructive role played by Djibouti during the dark days of the Yugoslavian war and the Rwandan genocide. Today, Djibouti hosts the headquarters of IGAD, our regional organization, and the Center for Excellence in the Fight Against Violent Extremism, which are exceptional drivers of regional peace and security. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we all keep in mind the historic role played by Djibouti in the process of stabilization of Somalia through multiple conferences, the most famous of which is of course the Arta Conference for Reconciliation in Somalia in 2000. The Minister of Defense, Hassan Omar Mohammed, visited the Jural region is on Friday. The Minister conducted a file visit to, with uh, Prefect Hassan Dabali and the President of the Regional Council, Omar 
Hussein in the various sectors affected by the floodings caused by the torrential rain. However, after having noted the damage, the minister mentioned in his intervention is that the preventive measures will be sent to the district's treatment by the flood and promise in this sense that protective ticks will be installed for the Badoli area as well as for other districts. In addition, it should be recalled that during his visit, the Ministers of Defence uh, was accompanied by a representative of the Minister of Urban Planning to carry out his mission. And uh, let us take advantage of these forums. The ministers recalled that the President of the Republic gave an instructions uh, to accelerate the connection of water and electricity for housing located in Raisado because this part of the city will very soon host uh, the OJ Foundation is, has continued in its long intervention. Finally, after having noted that many houses have been built on uh, flood plains and to avoid any kinds of risk at, related to flooding in period of uh, precipitation, the ministers urged the authority of the region to suspend the sale of flood of land in addition uh, in views of the weather is forecast which uh, announces a new rainfall in the country. The minister asked the population living on the remains vigilant. After visiting the area, he met with the authorities of the region and the neighborhood leaders and representatives of civil society. For his part, the Minister of Defense, Hassan Omar uh, Mohammed, uh, mentioned in his uh, intervention that the pre preventive uh, measure will be sent to the district treated by the flood and promise in this sense uh, that protective ticks will be installed for the Baduli area and as well as for other districts. The minister urged the authorities of the region to suspend the sale of plots of land in addition in views of the weather forecast which announces new rainfall in the country. The minister asked the population living on the way to remain vigilant. Minister of Labour is in charge of uh, administrative reform. Isman Ibrahim Robley is currently participating for these African regional meetings on the inter na International uh, Labour Office, which is taking place in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, from 3 to 6 December 2016. On this occasion, the minister was accompanied by important three-party delegations composed of the UGTD, UDT, and employers owned uh, organizations and the directors of labor and professional relations as well as the deputy technical director general of the CNSS. Uh, the objective of this uh, for these African regional meetings is to review on the basis of the Addis Ababa declaration the progress made by countries over the past four years in implementing the decent work agenda and agree on the common strategic vision is in Africa to move to a, a human centered labor future. The Minister of Labor uh, in charge of administrative reform, Isman Ibrahim Robley, has indicated in his intervention the objective of the 40th African Regional Meeting is to review on the basis of the Addis Ababa Declaration 2015, the progress made by countries over the past four years in implementing the decent work agenda and agree on a common strategic vision in Africa to move to a uh, human centered labor future. In the margins of his working visit to the Saudi the Minister of Muslim Affairs and Culture, Mumin Hassan Barre, was welcomed by, by Dr. Mansour Al Ashamari, Secretary General of the World Center for Combating Extremist Ideology. This meeting took place at the center headquarters in Riyadh in the presence of the Djibouti ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Dayedin Said Bamakrama, acting secretary general of the Ministry of uh, Shaib Adjal Sejer, executive secretary of the High Executive Council, Mr. Okiye Kaura Fatah, director of Muslim Zafar's Al Saleh Ahmed Abdallah. Etidal is uh, considered to be the largest international center that since its creation in 2017 has focused its activity and research on the deep profile of ext extremism and its psychological, intellectual motives. It operates mainly around the 
three pivot ideology, technology and media. During uh, this visit, uh, the ministerial delegation received detailed information on the new scientific methodology aimed at uh, understanding attitude towards violence radicalism following uh, the presentations of the center's vision by the experts. Uh, the minister took the floor thanking those officials who had succeeded in making communication and media platforms uh, the spread in the fight against uh, digital extremism, especially through the formulations of the counter recordings and the decipherings of the code used uh, by extremist propaganda practitioners. The Minister of Muslim Affairs, uh, Culture, Mumin Hassan Bari, his accompanying delegations visit the prestigious Imam Muhammad bin Saud University in Riyadh. The Minister was welcomed by the Rector Dr. Ahmed bin Salim Al Amiri and University faculties. This uh, meeting took place in the presence of our Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Din Said Bamakrama. The Saudi Arabian ambassador accredited to Djibouti, Abdul Aziz bin Abdullah Al Madar, the president of the university, Dr. Ahmed bin Salem Al Amiri, welcomed this visit, which so shows uh, Djibouti's interest in the development of scientific knowledge and training. He also pointed out uh, that the university proudly welcomes a senior official from Djibouti who was once a brilliant student in the faculties of communication and information technology. This was uh, the last meetings of the proceeding of this conference entitled The Prosperous Africa. A uh, business meeting Djibouti, Ethiopia and France, an exceptional opportunity to strengthen economic and commercial links in order to establish business flow. The objective of this meeting was to lay the groundwork for discussions on investment opportunities, technologies and know-how transfers between three continents. The impetus given by the President of the Chamber of Commerce, Yusuf Musa Dawale, for this conference that occurring a more ambitious development policy which constitutes the favorable framework for strengthening the present of the investment opportunity of the two countries, Djibouti and Ethiopia. These two countries that even define regional integration, these uh, meetings reflect the importance of the private sector as an engine for success of this uh, common uh, market, the Zelekaf, which uh, is the common market. The continent and beyond brought us shared opportunities and investment platforms. This year, showcasing the engagement of the Chamber of Commerce of the three countries is expected to yield active boost to the already existing trade and investment partnerships. It will add capacity development and further engage balanced, inclusive, and participatory trade collaboration. We are confident that your efforts as key stakeholder will take this opportunity as means of linking your existing business and ideas with counterparts and foster this spirit of collaboration and networking to advancement. DMP Ray Terminals is one of the key components of an ambitious project to develop Dora Limited Purpose Port since its uh, inauguration. DMP's new ray terminal has strengthened its service to offer the new DMP ray terminal which went to, into the operation on 18 October 2019 offers 5K loading platforms with a capacity of uh, 12,000 tons per day. Indeed, this ray terminal has uh, three liners uh, for the train where several loads uh, take place at a single load can take uh, 10 hours per line and for transport to Ethiopia located the uh, train make uh, 12 hours of journey which allows half of the time saved by a truck to the destinations in Ethiopia. In addition, this terminal simultaneously manages imports and exports as uh, it can receive export products uh, such as coffee, cotton, secums, uh, new. Now DMP offers a multimodal platform uh, by setting up this new terminal in his intervention, the director of DMP Dorale Multipurpose, Mr. Wahib Daher Aden Halali, that the service offered by this new 
Ray Terminal, which is one of, of the national infrastructure development project to make Djibouti a commercial and logistics hub. For the international scene, the strike against pension reform in France uh, continued on Friday after the massive mobilizations of the previous day. The disruptions affect transport, in particular, nearly one of three railway workers was on strike. Only online, only one train to out to five uh, was running in the Ile-de-France region. Uh, Nineteen percent of the TGV and seventeen percent of the TER were cancelled nationally in the metro. The same problems for users. Nine lines were closed in Paris on Friday. The movement forced thousands of people to take their cars. As a result, on Friday mornings, more than 300 kilometers of traffic jam were recorded in Ile de France. 500 kilometers at the end of the day. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe, who spoke uh, this Friday afternoon, announced that he will present the entire project on Wednesday without giving, giving up uh, the end of the special regimes. This is it for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us.